the book of Ephesians, the letter from Shaul written to the assembly in Ephesus, chapter 1. Shaul, an emissary of Yahusha Mashiach, by the desire of Alua, to the set apart ones who are in Ephesus, and true to Mashiach Yahusha, favor to you and Shalom from Alua, our Abba, and our Adoni, Yahusha Mashiach. Blessed be the Alua and Abba of our Adon, Yahusha Mashiach who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenlies in Mashiach, even as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be set apart and blameless before him in love. Having previously ordained us to the adoption as sons through Yahusha Mashiach to himself, according to the good pleasure of his desire, to the praise of the esteem of his favor, which he favored us in the beloved, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of trespasses, according to the riches of his favor, which he has lavished on us in all wisdom and insight, having made known to us the secret of his desire, according to his good pleasure, which he purposed in him, to administer at the completion of time, to gather together, one all in Mashiach, both which are in the Shamayim and those which are on the earth in him, in whom also we did obtain an inheritance, being previously ordained according to the purpose of him working all matters according to the counsel of his desire, for us to be the praise of his esteem, those having first trusted in Mashiach, in whom you also, having heard the word of truth, the good news of your deliverance, in whom also, having believed, you were sealed with that set-apart spirit of promise, who is the pledge of our inheritance, until the redemption of the purchased possession, to the praise of his esteem. For this reason, I too, having heard of your belief in the Adon Yahusha, and your love for all the set-apart ones, do not cease giving thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers, that the Alua of our Adon, Yahusha Mashiach, the Abba of esteem, would give you a Ruach of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him, that the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, so that you know what is the expectation of his calling and what are the riches of the esteem of his inheritance in the set-apart ones, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who are believing according to the working of his mighty strength, which he wrought in Yahusha when he raised him from the dead and seated him at the right hand in the heavenlies, far above all rule and authority and power and mastery and every name that is named, not only in this age, but in also that which is to come. And he put all under his feet and gave him to be the head over all to the assembly, which is his body, the completeness of him who feels all in all. Chapter 2 And you were dead in trespasses and sins, in which you once walked according to the course of this world, according to the ruler of authority of the air, of the Ruach that is now working in the sons of disobedient, among whom we had all once lived in the lusts of our flesh, doing the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, also as the rest. But Alua who is rich in compassion because of his great love which he loved us. Even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Mashiach. By favor you have been delivered and raised us up together 
and made us to sit together in the Shamayim in Yahusha Mashiach. In order to show in the coming ages the exceeding riches of his favor and kindness towards us in Mashiach Yahusha. For by favor you have been delivered through belief and not of yourselves. It is the gift of Alua. It is not by works so that no one should boast. For we are his workmanship created in Yahusha Mashiach unto good works, which Alua prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Therefore, remember that you, once nations in the flesh, who were called the uncircumcision, by what is called the circumcision, made in the flesh by hands, that at the time you were without Mashiach, excluded from the citizenship of Yasharal, and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no expectation without Alua the world. But now, in Mashiach Yahusha, you, who were once so far off, have been brought near by the blood of Mashiach. For he is our Shalom, who has made both one, having broken down the partition of the barrier, having abolished in his flesh the enmity, the Torah of the commands in dogma, so as to create in himself one renewed man from the two, thus making Shalom. And to completely restore favor both to them unto Alua in one body through the stake, having destroyed the enmity by it. Having come, he brought us good news, shalom to you who were far off, and shalom to those near. Because through him we both have access to the Father by one Ruach. So then, we are no longer strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens of the Kodashim and members of the household of Alua, having been built upon the foundation of the emissaries and the prophets, Yahusha HaMashiach himself being the chief cornerstone, in whom all the building, being joined together, rose into a set-apart dwelling place in Yahuwah, in whom you are also being built together into a dwelling place of Alua in the Ruach. Chapter 3 Because of this, I, Shaul, am the prisoner of Yahusha Mashiach on behalf of you nations. If indeed you have heard of the administration of favor of Alua that was given to me for you, that by revelation was made known to me the secret, as I wrote before briefly. In reading this then, you are able to understand my insight into the secret of Mashiach which was not made known to the sons of men in other generations, as it has now been revealed by the Ruach to his set-apart emissaries, his prophets. The nations to be co-heirs, united in the same body, and partakers in the promise of Mashiach through the good news, of which I became a servant according to the gift of favor of Alua given to me, according to the working of his power. To me, the very least of all the set-apart ones, this favor was given to bring the good news of the unsearchable riches of Mashiach among the nations, and to make all see this secret is administered, which for ages has been hidden in Alua, who created all through Yahusha Mashiach. So now, through the assembly, the many-sided wisdom of Alua might be known to the principalities and the authorities in the heavenly, according to the everlasting purpose which he had made in Mashiach Yahusha or Adon, in whom we have boldness and access with reliance through belief in him. I pray, therefore, that you do not lose heart at my pressures on my behalf, which is your esteem. For this reason I bow my knees to the Father of our Master Yahushua Mashiach, from whom all the fatherhood, the heavens and the earth is named, in order that he might give you, according to the riches of his esteem, by power 
to be strengthened in the inner man through his Ruach, that the love of Mashiach might dwell in your hearts through belief, having become rooted and grounded love, in order that you might be strengthened to firmly grasp with all the set apart ones what is the width, the length, the depth, and the height, to know the love of Mashiach, which surpasses knowledge, in order that you might be filled to all completeness in the Lua. To him who is able to do exceeding above what we ask or think, according to the power that is working in us. To him be esteemed the assembly by Yahushua Mashiach to all generations forever and ever. Amen. Chapter 4 I call upon you, therefore, I, the prisoner of the Adon, to walk worthily of the calling with which you were called, with all humility and meekness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, being eager to guard the unity of the Ruach in the bond of Shalom, one body, one Ruach as you were also called in one expectation of your calling, one Adon, one belief, one immersion, one Alua and Abba of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. But to each one of us, favor was given according to the measure of the gift of Mashiach. That is why it says, when he went up high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts to men. But what does he went up mean? except that he also first went down into the lower parts of the earth. He who went down is also the one who went up far above all the heavens to fill all, and he himself gave some as emissaries, and some as prophets, and some as evangelists, and some as shepherds, and others mores, for the perfecting of the set-apart one to the work of the service to a building up of the body of Mashiach until we all come into the unity of the belief and of the knowledge of the son of Alua to a perfect man to the measure of the stature of the completeness of Mashiach so that we all should no longer be children tossed and borne about by every wind of doctrine by the trickery of men cleverness and to craftiness of the leading astray but maintaining the truth and love, we grow up in all respects into him who is the head, Mashiach, from whom the entire body joined and knit together by what every joint supplies, according to the working by which each part does its share, causes growth of the body for the building up of itself. And so this I say and witness in the Adon, that you should no longer walk as the nations walk, in the futility of their mind, having been darkened in their understanding, having been estranged from the life of Alua, because of the ignorance that is in them, because of the hardness of their heart, who, having become callous, have given themselves up to indecency, to work all uncleanness with greediness. But you have not so learned, Shiach, if indeed, you have heard him and were taught by him as truth is in Yahusha that you put off with regard to the former behavior the old man being corrupted according to the desires of the deceit and to be renewed in your Ruach of mind and that you put on the renewed man which was created according to Alua in righteousness and in set apartness of the truth. Therefore, Having put off all the false, speak truth, each one with his neighbor, for we are members of one another. Be wroth, but do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your rage, nor give place to Hashatan. Let him who stole, steal no more, but rather let him labor, 
working with his hands what is good so that he has somewhat to share with those in need. Let no corrupt word come out of your mouth, but only such as is good for the use of building up, so as to impart what is pleasant to the hearer. And do not grieve the Ruach HaKadosh of Alua, by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Let all bitterness, wrath, displeasure, uproar, and slander be put far away from you, along with all evil, and be kind one towards another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, as Alua also forgave you, Shiach. Chapter 5 Become then imitators of Alua as beloved children, and walk in love as Mashiach has also loved us, and gave himself for us a gift and an offering to Alua for a sweet smelling fragrance. But whoring and all uncleanness of greed, of gain, let it not even be named among you as is proper among Kodashim. Neither filthiness nor foolish talking nor coarse jesting, which are not fitting, but rather thanksgiving. For this you know, that no one who whores, nor unclean one, nor one greedy of gain, who is an idolater, has any inheritance in the reign of Mashiach and Alua. Let no one deceive you with empty words, for because of these the wrath of Alua comes on the sons of disobedience. Therefore, do not become partakers with them, for you were once darkness, but now you are the light in the master. Walk as children, light. For the fruit of the Ruach is in all goodness and righteousness, truth, proving what is the well-pleasing to the master, and have no fellowship with the fruitless works of darkness, but rather convict them, for it is a shame to even speak of what is done by them in secret. But all matters being convicted, are manifested by the light, or whatsoever is manifested by the light. That is why he says, Wake up, you who sleep, and arise from the dead, and Mashiach shall shine on you. See then that you walk exactly, not as unwise, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are wicked. So then, do not be foolish, but understand what the desire of Yahuwah is. Do not be drunk with wine, in which is loose behavior, but be filled with the Ruach, speaking to one another psalms and songs of praise, spiritual songs, singing and striking the strings in your heart to the Adon, giving thanks always, everything to Yahuwah, the Father, the name of Yahusha HaMashiach, our Master, subjecting yourselves one to another, the fear of a Lord. Wives, subject yourselves to your own husbands, as to the Adon, because the husband is the head of the wife, as also the Adon is the head of the assembly, and he is the savior of the body. But as the assembly is subject to Mashiach, so also let the wives be to their own husbands in every respect. Husbands, love your wives as Mashiach also did love the assembly and gave himself for it, in order to set it apart and cleanse it with the washing of the water by the word, in order to present it to himself a splendid assembly, not having any spot or wrinkle or any of this sort, but that it might be set apart and blameless. In this way, husbands, you ought to love your own wives as your own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. For no one ever hated his own flesh, but feeds it and cherishes it, and also as the Adon does the assembly, because we are members of his body, his flesh and his bones. For this cause a man shall leave his father and his mother and be joined into his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This secret is great, but I speak concerning Mashiach and the assembly. However, you too, every one, let each one love his own wife as himself, and let the wife see that she fears her husband.
Chapter 6 Children, obey your parents in the Adon, for this is right. Respect your father and your mother, which is the first command with promise, in order that it might be well with you and you might live long on the earth. And you fathers, do not provoke your children, but bring them up in the instruction and the admonition of the Adon. Servants, obey your masters according to the flesh, with fear and trembling and sincerity of heart, as unto Mashiach, not with eye service as men pleases, but as servants of Mashiach, doing the desire of Alua from the inner man, rendering service with pleasure as unto Yahusha and not unto men, knowing that whatever good anyone does, he shall receive the same from the Adon, whether he is slave or free. And masters, do the same to them. Refrain from threatening, knowing that your own master also is in the Shamayim. There is no partiality with him. For the rest, my brothers, be strong in the master and in the mightiness of his strength and put on the complete armor of Alua for you to have power to stand against the scheme of the devil. Because we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against authorities, against the world, the world rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual matters of wickedness in the heavenlies. Because of this, take up the complete armor of Alua, so that you have power to withstand in the wicked day. And having done all to stand, stand in, having girded your waist with the mock truth, having put on the breastplate of Zadokah, righteousness, and having fitted your feet with the preparation of Abashor Shalom, the good news of peace, and above all, taking the shield of Amuna, belief, which you shall have power to quench all the burning arrows of the wicked one. Take upon the helmet of Yahusha, deliverance, and the sword of the Ruach, which is Hadabar Yahuwah, the word of Alua, praying at all times with all prayer and supplication in the Ruach, watching in all pr perseverance and supplication for all the Kodashim. Also for me, that a word might be given to me in the opening of my mouth to be bold in making known the secret of the good news, for which I am an envoy in chains, that in it I may speak boldly as I should speak. Now, in order that you might know about me, how I'm doing, to Kikos, a beloved brother and trustworthy servant in the master shall make all matters known to you whom I did send to you for this same purpose so that you know about us and might encourage your hearts. Shalom to the Akim and the Haba with belief from Alua, the father and from the Adon, Yahusha HaMashiach. Favor be with you all to those who love our master Yahusha HaMashiach undecayingly. Hallelujah.
The Letter of Philippians Chapter 1 Shaul and Timotheos, servants of Yahushua HaMashiach To all the Kodashim and Mashiach Yahushua who are Philippi With the overseers and attendants Favor and Shalom from Alua our father And the Adon Yahushua HaMashiach I thank my Alua and all remembrance of you and all my prayers for all of you. I always pray with joy for your fellowship in the good news from the first day even until now. Being persuaded of this, that he who has begun a good work in you shall perfect it until the day of Yahushua HaMashiach. It is right for me to thank this of all of you because I have you in my heart. All of you being the sharers of the favor with me, both in my chains and in the defense and confirmation of the good news. For Alua is witness how I long for you all with the affection of Yahushua HaMashiach. In this I pray that your love might extend more and more in the knowledge and in all discernment. For you to examine the matters that differ in order to be sincere and not stumbling into the day of Mashiach and being filled with the fruits of righteousness through Yahushua HaMashiach to the esteem and the praise of Elua. And I wish you to know, Akim, that what has befallen me has turned out for the advancement of the good news, so that it has become known to all the palace guard and to all the rest that my chains are in Mashiach. And most of the Akim trusting in the master because of my chains are much more bold to fiercely, fearlessly speak the word. Some indeed proclaim Mashiach even from envy and strife, but some also out of pleasure. The former announce Mashiach from selfish ambition, not sincerely thinking to add distress to my chain, but the latter out of love, knowing that I am appointed for the defense of the good news. What then? Only that in every way, whether in pretense or in truth, Mashiach is announced, and in this I rejoice. In fact, I shall rejoice, for I know that this shall turn out for my deliverer. Through your prayer, the supply of the Ruach of Yahushua, Mashiach, according to my intense longing and anticipation that I shall not be ashamed at all, but that with all boldness, as always, so now also Mashiach shall be made great in my body, whether by life or by death. For to me, to live is Mashiach, to God, and to die is gain. And if to live in the flesh is to me a fruit of work, what shall I choose? I know, for I am pressed down by the two, having a desire to depart and to be with Mashiach, which is much better, but to remain in the flesh is more necessary for being persuaded of this, I know that I shall stay and continue with you all for your progress and joy of belief, so that your boasting might overflow in Yahushua Mashiach on account of me through my coming to you again. Only behave yourselves worthily of the good news of Mashiach in order that whether I come and see you or I am absent, I hear about you, that you stand fast in one Ruach with being one, striving together for the belief of the good news, without being frightened in any way by those who oppose, which to them truly is a proof of destruction, but to you of deliverance, and that from Alua, because to you it has been given as favor on behalf of Mashiach, not only to believe in him, but also to suffer for his sake, having the same struggle which you saw in me, and now here to be in me.
chapter 2. If then there is any encouragement in Yahusha, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of Ruach, and any affection and compassion, make my joy complete by being of the same mind, having the same love, one in being and of purpose. Do nothing at all through selfishness or self-conceit, but in humility, consider others better than yourselves. Each one should look out not only for his own interests, but also for the interests of others. But let this mind be in you which was also in Yusha Mashiach, who being in the form of a luba, did not regard equality with luba a matter to be grasped, but emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, and came to be in the likeness of men. And having been found in the fashion as a man, he humbled himself, became obedient unto death, death even of a stake. Alua therefore has highly exalted him, given him the name which is above every name. At the name of Yahusha, every knee should bow, of those in the Shamayim, of those on the earth, those under the earth. And every tongue should confess that Yahusha HaMashiach is Adoni, to the esteem of the Father. So that, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, not only in my presence, but now, much rather in my absence, work out your own deliverance with fear and For it is Alua who is working in you both to desire and to work for his good pleasure, through all matters without grumbling and disputing, in order that you be blameless and faultless, children of Alua without blemish in the midst of a crooked and a perverse generation, among whom you shine as lights in the world, holding on to the word of life, for a boast to me in the day of Mashiach, that I have not run in vain or labored in vain. In fact, even if I'm being poured out as a drink offering, on the offering and service on your behalf, I am glad and rejoice with you all. So you too should be glad and rejoice with me. But I trust in the Master Yahusha to send Timotheos to you shortly, so that I too am encouraged by news from you. For I have no one else of the same mind who takes a genuine interest in your welfare. For all seek their own interests, not those of Mashiach Yahusha. But you know he has proven himself that as a son with his father, he served me for the good news. So I expect to send him as soon as I see how it goes with me. And I trust in the Adon that I myself shall also come shortly. But I thought it necessary to send you Ephorodotus, my fellow brother and fellow laborer and fellow soldier, and your emissary and servant to my need since he was longing for you all, being troubled because of you, had heard that he was sick. For indeed he was sick, near to death, but Alua had compassion on him, and not only him, but on me as well, lest so I should have sadness upon sadness. Therefore I sent him more eagerly, so that on seeing him again you might rejoice, and I be less sad. Receive him, therefore, in the Adon with all joy, hold such as he is in esteem. Because of the work of Mashiach, he was near death, risking his life to fill up what was lacking in your service toward me. Chapter 3 For the rest, brothers, rejoice in Yahuwah to write the same matters to you is truly no trouble to me, and for you it is safe. Look out for dogs, look out for evil workers, look out for the mutilation. For we are the circumcision who are serving Alua in the Ruach and boasting in Yahusha HaMashiach and do not trust in the flesh. Though I too might have trust in the flesh, if anyone thinks to trust in the flesh, I more. Circumcised the eighth day of the race of Yasharal 
of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrews, according to the Torah, a Pharisee, according to zeal, persecuting the assembly, according to righteousness, that is, in the law, having become blameless. But what might have been a gain to me, I count it as a loss because of Yahusha. What is more, I even count as a loss because of the excellence of the knowledge of Yahushua HaMashiach, my Adon, for whom I suffered the loss of all, and count them as refuse in order to gain Mashiach, and be found in him, not having my own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through belief in Messiah, Mashiach, the righteousness, which is from Alua, on the basis of belief. To know him, and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being conformed to his death, if somehow I might attain to the resurrection from the dead. Not that I have already received or already been perfected, but I press on and I lay hold of that which Mashiach Yahusha has laid hold of me. Brothers, I do not count myself to have laid hold of it yet, but only this, getting what is behind out for what lies ahead. I press on toward the goal for the prize of the high calling of Alua in Yahushua HaMashiach. As many then as are perfect should have this mind. And if you think differently in any respect, Alua shall also reveal this to you. But to what we have already attained, walk by the same rule and be of the same mind. Become joint imitators of me, Akim. And look at those who so walk as you have us for a pattern. For many of whom I have often told you and now say to you even weeping, walk as enemies of the stake of Mashiach. In this destruction, their mighty one is their stomach. Their esteem is in their shame. They mind the earthly. For our citizenship is in the Shamayim from which we are also eagerly wait for, for the Shama, for wait for the Savior, the Master Yahushua, who shall change our lowly body to be conformed to his esteemed body, according to the working by which he is able to even bring all under his control. Chapter 4 So then, my brothers, beloved and longed for, my joy and my crown, stand firm in the Adon, beloved. I appeal to Euodia, and I appeal to Santuche, to be of the same mind in the Adon. And I also ask you, true companion, help these women who labor with me in the good news, with Calimus also and to the rest of my fellow workers whose names are in the book of life. Rejoice in Yahuwah always, again I say, rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to all men. The master is near. Do not worry it at all, but in every matter by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto Alua. And the shalom of Alua, which surpasses all understanding, shall guard your hearts and minds through Yahushua HaMashiach. For the rest, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is righteous, whatever is clean, whatever is lovely, whatever is of a good report, if there be any uprightness, and if there is any praise, think on these things. And what you have learned and received and heard and saw in me, practice, and the allure of shalom, 
shall be with you. I rejoiced in Yahuwah greatly now, at the last concern for me is revived again, though you were concerned, but had no chance. Not that I speak concerning need, for I have learned to be content in whatever state I am in. I know that what is to be humbled, and I know what is to have in excess. In any and every situation, I have learned both to be filled be hungry, both to have excess and to be in need. I have strength to do all through Mashiach who empowers me. Yet, you did well in sharing in my pressure. And you know too, Philippians, that in the beginning of the good news when I went out from Macedonia, no assembly shared with me concerning giving and receiving except you. Because Thessaloniki sent to my need once and twice. Not that I seek the gift, but I seek the fruit that is multiplying to your deed. I have all more than enough. I have been filled, having received from Ephorodiotos what you sent, a sweet smelling fragrance, acceptable offering, well pleasing to a Lord. And Malua shall fill all your need according to his riches and his esteem by Yahusha, Amashiach. To our Alua and Father be esteemed forever and ever. Hallelujah. Greet every Kodashim in Yahusha, Amashiach. The brothers with me greet you. All the set apart ones greet you. But most of all, those of Caesar's household, the favor of our master Yahusha, Amashiach. The letter of Colossians, chapter 1. Shaul, an emissary of Yahusha HaMashiach, by the desire of Alua, Timotot, Teos, our brother, to the set-apart ones in Colossae, and true brothers in Mashiach, favor to you and Shalom, Alua, our father, and the master Yahusha HaMashiach. We give thanks to the Alua and the Father of our Master Yahushua HaMashiach, praying always for you, having heard of your belief in Shiach Yahushua, and of your own love for all the set apart ones, because of the expectation that is laid up for you, Shamayim, of which you heard before in the word of truth of the good news, which has come to you, as also all of the world it is bearing fruit and growing as also among you since the day you have heard and knew the favor of Alua and as you also learned from Ephras our beloved fellow servant who is a true servant of Yahusha on your behalf who also declared to us your love in Ruach that is also why we Far from the day we heard, have not ceased praying for you and asking that you be filled with all the knowledge of his desire and all wisdom and spiritual understanding to walk worthily of the master, pleasing all, bearing fruit in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of Alupa, being empowered with all power according to the might of his esteem 
for all endurance and patience with joy, giving thanks to the Father who has made us fit to share in the inheritance of the Kodashim of light, who has delivered us from the authority of darkness, transferred us into the reign of his Son of love, of his love, in whom we have redemption, even through his blood, the forgiveness of sin. Who is the likeness of the invisible Lord, the firstborn of all creation, because in him were created all that are in the Shammai and all on the earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or rulerships or principalities or authorities, all have been created all have been created through him and for him and he is before all in him all hold together and he is the head of the body the assembly who is the beginning the firstborn from the dead that he might become the one who is first in all because in him all the completeness well pleased to dwell and through him to completely restore to favor all unto himself whether on earth or in the Shammai, having made shalom through the blood of his state. And you who were estranged and enemies in the mind by wicked works, but now he has completely restored to favor in the body of his flesh to death, to present you set apart and blameless and unreprovable before him, if indeed you continue in the belief, founded steadfast and not moved away from the expectation of the good news which you have heard, which was proclaimed to every creature under the heaven, of which I, Shaul, became a servant, who now rejoice in my sufferings for you, and fill up in my flesh what is lacking in Mashiach's affliction, for the sake of his body, which is his assembly, of which I became a servant during the administration of Alua, which was given to me for you to fill the word of the secret which has been hidden from ages and from generations but now has been revealed to his set apart one to whom who would desire to make known what are the riches of esteem the secret among the nations which is Mashiach in you the expectancy expectancy of esteem we announce warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom in order to present every man perfect in the Mashiach, for which also I labor, striving according, working of him who works in me in power. Colossians chapter 2 For I wish you to know what a great struggle I have for you and those in Laodicea and for as many as not seen my face in the flesh in order that their hearts might be encouraged being knit together in love to all riches of the entire confirmation of understanding to a true knowledge of the secret of Alua and of the Father and of Mashiach in whom all are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. And this I say, so that no one deceives you with enticing words. But though I am absent in the flesh, yet I am with you in spirit, rejoicing to see your good order and the steadfastness of your belief in Mashiach. Therefore, as you accepted Yahushua Mashiach, the Adon, walk in him, having been rooted and built up in him and established in the belief as you were taught, overflowing in it with thanksgiving. See to it that no one makes a prey of you through philosophy and empty deceit, according to the tradition of men, according to the elementary matters of this world, and not according to Mashiach. Because, of, because in him dwells all the completeness of Elohim bodily, and you have been made complete in him who is the head of all principality and authority. In him 
you were also circumcised with that circumcision, not made with hands, in the putting off of the body of sins of the flesh, by the circumcision of Mashiach, having been buried with him in immersion, but you were also raised with him, the belief working of Alua, who raised him from the dead, and you, being dead in trespasses, and uncircumcised in your flesh, he has made alive together with him, having forgiven you all of your trespasses, having blotted out that which was written by hand against us, by the dogmas which stood against us, he has taken it out of the way, having nailed it to his stake. Having stripped the principalities and the authorities, he made a public display of them, having prevailed over them. Let no one therefore judge you in eating or in drinking, or in respect of a festival or a new moon or Sabbath, which are a shadow of what is to come but the body of Mashiach. Let no one deprive you of the prize. One who takes delight in false humility, the worship of messengers, taking his stand on what he has not seen, puffed up by his fleshly mind, and not holding fast to the head, from whom all the body, nourished and knit together by joints and ligaments, grows with the growth of Alua. If then you died with Mashiach from the elementary matters of the world, why, as though living in the world, do you subject yourself to dogmas? Do not touch, do not taste, do not handle, which are to perish with use according to the commands and the teachings of men. These indeed have an appearance of wisdom and self-imposed worship, humiliation and harsh treatment of the body, of no value at all, only for the satisfaction of the flesh. Chapter 3 if then you were raised with Mashiach, seek the matters which are above, where Mashiach is, seated at the right hand of Alua. Find the matters above, and not those on the earth. For you have died, and your life has been hidden with Mashiach and Alua. When the Mashiach, who is our life, is manifested, then you also shall be manifested with him in esteem. Therefore, put to death your members, which are on the earth, whoring, cleanness, passion, desire, greed, gain, which is idolatry. Because of these, the wrath of Allah is coming upon the sons of disobedience, in which you were also once walking when you lived in them, but now also put off all of these, displeasure, wrath, evil, blasphemy, filthy talk from your mouth. Do not lie to each other, since you have put off the old man with practices and have put on the renewed one who is renewed in knowledge according to the likeness of him who created him. Where there is not a Greek or a Yahudim, circumcised or uncircumcised, foreigner, Scythian, slave, free, but Mashiach is all and in all. Therefore, as Kodashim of Alua, set apart once and beloved, put on compassion, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If anyone has a complaint against another, indeed, as Mashiach forgave you, you also should forgive them. But above all of these, put on love, which is the bond of perfection. And let the shalom of Alua rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body, and be filled with thanks. Let the word of Yahusha, Amashiach, dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing you in all wisdom, singing with pleasure in your hearts to the master in psalms, songs of praise, and spiritual song. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do all in the name of Yahusha Mashiach, giving thanks to Allah, Father. Wives, subject yourselves to your own husbands, as is proper in the master. Husbands, of your wives, do not be bitter towards them. Children, obey your parents in all. 
This is well pleasing to the master. Fathers, do not provoke your children. As they become discouraged. Servants, obey your masters according to the flesh in all respects, not with eye service, as men pleases, but in sincerity of heart, fearing the Lua. And whatever you do, do it heartily, as unto Yahusha, and not unto men, knowing that from the master you shall receive the reward of inheritance. It is the master, Mashiach, you serve, but he who does wrong shall be repaid for the wrong which he has done. And there is no partiality. Chapter 4 Masters, give your servants what is righteous and fair, knowing that you also have a master in Continue in prayer, watching therein with thanksgiving, praying at all times, also for us, that Alua would open to us a door for the word to speak the secret of Mashiach, for which I am also in these chains, so that I make it clear as I should speak. Walk in wisdom towards those who are outside, redeeming the thing. Let your word always be with favor, seasoned with salt, so that you know how you ought to answer each one. To Chikos, who is a beloved brother, a true servant, and a fellow servant in the master, shall give you all the news about me. I am sending him to you for this purpose, and to know your circumstances, and to encourage your hearts. With Onemiso, a true and beloved brother, who is one of you, they shall let you know all the news here. Aristokos, my fellow prisoner, greets you. With Marcos, the relative of about whom you received instruction, if he comes to you, welcome him. Also, Yeshua, who is called Justice, these are my only fellow workers for the rank of Alua, who are of the circumcision, who were to me a comfort. Ephras, who is one of you, a servant of Mashiach, greets you, always wrestling for you in prayers, so that you stand perfect and complete in all desire of Alua. For I bear him witness that he has a deep concern for you and for those who are in La- Laodicea and those in Hierapolis. Lucas, the beloved physician, Demas, greet you. Greet the brothers in Laodicea and Nympha and the assembly that is in his house. And when this letter is read among you, see that it is read also the assembly of the Laodiceans and that you likewise read the letter from Laodicea, and say to Akripos, see to the service which you have received in the master, so that you complete it. This greeting is in my own hand. Shaul, remember my chains. Favor be with you. Amen. This has been the reading of the letters of Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians. Shalom.